I'm Dr. John Croft. Hi, Dr. Croft. Welcome to the Institute. Thank you for coming on such short notice. My pleasure. The agency speaks very highly of your work. We're excited to be working with you. That's great. Your experience in infectious diseases and contagion is exactly what we're looking for. Uh, before we get started, why don't you follow me and step over here and we'll get your picture taken for your badge. Sounds good. When we spoke on the phone, we discussed the sensitive nature of our work here. Obviously, as a former Navy SEAL, you understand the parameters of your top secret security clearance. Yes. All right. No wife or children, correct? That's correct. No roommates? No. You haven't mentioned your appointment here today with anyone? Uh, no one. All right, let's get started. The outbreak was confined to a one mile radius in the Delancey National Park just south of here. Most of the infected were terminated. Everyone else was brought back here to the Institute where we're holding them for observation and studying various stages of the disease. You gotta get them before they get you. So how exactly did this infection start? That's where you come in. After our team rounded up the infected individuals, we began talking to some of the friends and family. Um, it seems that one of our subjects recently returned from overseas, was complaining to some of his coworkers about a rash on his arm, and then last weekend he brought his family camping to Delancey National Park. Hey, I'm, I'm still not feeling very good. I'm gonna go lay down. You really need to get that arm looked at. Hey, uh, I think I'm gonna lay down for a little bit. How does it look? It might be worse. Okay, well, go lay down. I'll come check on you in a little bit. Have been sleeping this whole time? Yeah, go check on it. I'm gonna go back and get the rest of the stuff. Hey, you okay? You think you need to go see a doctor now? Huh? Best guess is that the family became separated sometime after they were all infected. Between the three of them, they must have spread the disease to other areas of the park. We were able to round them up and we have them here in this holding cell. It's impressive you were able to bring these case subjects back here to the building. My father taught me, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. But you know, I don't think dad ever met a zombie. Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Didn't expect so much blood. They like to eat. The wound seems to suggest that the infection travels through the bloodstream. We're relying on you to answer that. The next case we have involves a family of four. Um, a mother, father, two female children, ages 10 and 13. Stop! Stop! Both girls were infected first and then turned on the parents. Uh, these two were able to bring back from that area of the park. The others were far too deteriorated to be transported. Um, most of them were actually terminated on scene, so. 
Zombies walk out. This is the unique part of our study. We found a woman, her late 30s, about six months pregnant. She was alone that day on a day pass. She told one of the rangers she was there for some hiking. Um, then two twin children, about seven years old. We don't know who their parents are. They must have gotten separated. We're still running some DNA tests on all the infected individuals. Uh, they don't have any relation at all to the pregnant woman, but they do seem to be the ones who infected her. When the twins were found, they weren't alone. introduce you to your partner now. You'll be working with her for the duration of the assignment. That's great, thanks. Hi, I'm Dr. John Croft. coming on such short notice. The agency speaks very highly of your work. We're excited to be working with you. Why don't you step right over here and we'll take your picture for your batch and then we'll get started. 